I remember I had a cappuccino at Pulp Coffee, which is like super small. A lot of people don't even know about it here in San Antonio. And it was like amazing. Passion for it from that one cup of coffee turned into like a business, which I never thought would have happened. So we're a specialty coffee company, so, so what we use is like coffees from Ethiopia, uh, ones from Mexico, stuff that's really, really special in the sense that it only comes from a single region at a certain altitude, grown at a certain time of the year, like mm -hmm. under certain conditions, uh, so it gives the, the notes a different, or the beans a different flavor to them. Mm -hmm. The brand being more in tune with the lifestyle of our customers, mm -hmm. like the millennials, that, like they're being cleaner, they're being healthier, they want to be more aesthetic. Uh, they want things to taste better on their own. They don't want to add things to them. Um, and I think that's something special that I'm not seeing in a lot of coffee companies right now. The cool thing about like our customer, right, is like it's my friends. Mm -hmm. So like 18 to 35 year olds who are in college who live this healthy lifestyle that's aesthetic, like having those people around me helped me a lot to understand what my customer target was. And outside of a business aspect too, like running a business with your friends is so much more fun than running it with people you don't know. If I say, hey, can one of you help me with a picture in five minutes? Like, they're there. Their support and their just presence was something that I couldn't trade for anything. So she's been super supportive. Um, when I started, my parents were super skeptical because I was literally just like, I was taking my own money that I had worked for on other jobs and buying bottles of coffee and then just selling it to my friends and Selena would actually take the bottles because I, I wouldn't sell that many on campus I'd maybe sell like 10 a week on a good week mm -hmm. she would take bottles to her high school so she's a year younger than me so our high school she would go back and like sell bottles on campus and then as that process changed from me just buying coffee from somebody else to sell um, to me actually making the coffee I mean she was there the whole the whole way like she would wake up early with me to uh, go bottle in the morning she'd stay up late with me to brew the coffee at night um, it was like I'm doing this out of the goodness of my heart because I support what you're trying to do um, and that was really special to me because I needed somebody that was going to be there regardless of whatever happened you know so definitely everybody in the entrepreneurship department so Dr. Martinez I mean he hypes me he's like literally your personal hype man like you go into his office and he's like you can do anything and to me, that was something that I really needed because a lot of people tell you, you know, like, be careful. If you have an idea or you have a passion, like, do it. I want them to understand that, like, this is a cultural movement. Coffee is moving in a different way. And the reason why the product is selling is because this is, like, the new wave of coffee, the new wave of consumer. I want the business to survive on its own, you know?